Hello, and welcome to week two of CRW 282. So this week is all about critical reading and writing, specifically strategies for reading and how to process what it is that we're reading. So we're going to talk about annotation and summary. Now, critical reading is important because you want to remember that your W PE grade is 40% critical reading. So we're going to read a little slower and a little more deeply maybe than we have in the past because these reading assignments are more about processing information and responding to argument than it is really about just retaining something. So you're probably going to spend a little more time reading these assignments than you might for like say a biology class or something like that where you're more interested in retaining information. So if you go here to the week two checklist, you'll see we have a few things. We have an annotations video. It's a short overview about annotations, what they are, how they work. And we also then have some annotations programs, uh, as well as some links to your assignments for later this week. So if we start with the annotations programs, that's going to take you up to this. So there are a few different ways to annotate online. Now, if we were in a classroom, I would probably ask you to have the reading material in a book or maybe on a printout, and you could use paper and pencil, but we're online. So there are, are a few options you have to annotate your readings. Uh, most people have Adobe Acrobat, and it it's okay, but I'm going to give a big plug for this program here, Kami HQ, because it pairs well with Google Drive, and it's really has a lot of functionality built into it, and it's pretty fun to use. So here's an example of what it might look like if you made something in Kami. Uh, you can see right down here the uh, arrow drawing, the highlighting, the squaring. So what happens with Kami is you essentially have a virtual book that you can interact with um, in a way that maybe you can't with a regular PDF. So if we go back to our home screen and if we click the read uh, annotating the essay question assignment, that takes us to here. And you'll see that here's your optional ethnicities question and we'll open it, pops up in a new window new tab. So this is what you're going to get if you don't have Kami installed. And you'll see it's just a PDF preview. Uh, it may look a little bit different than if you're on a different browser. So the first thing that you're probably going to have to do here is click this download arrow to get it onto your device. And from there, you can upload it to Google Drive. You can upload it to uh, Dropbox if you use Dropbox, or you can just access it then on your computer a little bit. Um, anyway, once you have it and you upload it to Google Docs, what you're going to get is something like this, because at this point you have Kami installed, and so you'll see it's the same thing. It's the essay question, but, well, okay, this is a different document, same material mostly. Uh, and you can see here are all your Kami features. For instance, you can highlight. I've already done that here. Uh, you can also do a box highlighter. So you could just have a highlighted box if you so chose. Um, one of my favorite features here is the comment. And I like the comment because if you decide you want to comment, for instance, you could change the color to green instead of yellow to distinguish highlighting from comments. And then you can highlight a sentence and you can go ahead once you've done that and there it is pops up right over here you can say this is the main question i'm being asked click elsewhere and there's your saved comment so my favorite thing about this is that it links uh, your comments to the passage that it responds to. So it gives you a chance not only visually to call attention to the point here that you want to look at, but then also to have a running dialogue. And you can reply to your own comment if you want to have a conversation with yourself or anything like that. So there's your plug for Kami, and I would really recommend doing it with Kami. So this week you're going to choose one way to annotate and you're going to practice annotating the essay question 
and then when it's done you will submit your file and you will submit of course so after you've done the essay one question the uh, make sure I have this right annotating the essay question you're going to do what something that's more or less the same thing with the entire reading set and so here the, the next assignment yes I want to leave that assignment read an uh, annotate and upload waters and what you should see why is that reading assignment not linked from here the reading assignment should be linked from here well if you're looking at it and the reading assignment isn't linked from here first of all uh, I apologize for that that was displaying on my end you should be able to go over here to the course readings tab we can open that in a new tab and there's your course readings uh, essay one reading set you'll pop that open and here you are so you'll be annotating this reading set for this particular assignment uh, and that of course will be due on the 23rd as you can see now when you're annotating it be sure that you're doing more than highlighting because highlighting it's helpful for remembering what we're working with but again it doesn't tell us things for instance like this is the thesis statement and that's really important because these little conversations that we're having show engagement conversation it helps us process the information rather than just retain it which is a huge component of the WPE so after you've done the annotation assignments the next thing that you're going to be taken to closing some tabs would be the amazing shrinking summary assignment so the amazing shrinking summary assignment is another way to process information so summary writing is more about retaining information but it also requires you to put it in its own in uh, your own words so again with the amazing shrinking summary assignment you'll be reading the waters article you'll be completing the instructions on the screen and then you'll just go ahead and you will click submit so nothing too fancy uh, a few different assignments there are some optional assignments too for instance the personal connection to your uh, ethnicity assignment and this is a question that I really love to have students answer because it's a way to learn a little bit more not just about ourselves but also how we think about thinking about ourselves if that makes sense so you'll see the link goes here to the forum and a few of you have already posted about it so congratulations those of you who've already posted about it that's what that looks like and you should hopefully be able to do that um, of course I'm always happy here to answer any questions in the course Q&A um, one thing to go back to week one that might be worth considering uh, in week one we had the survey link that here we go quick intro survey so originally this had had a closed date of last Wednesday but uh, only about two-thirds of you had a chance to complete it so I've reopened it through the end of the week please uh, go ahead and get this done when you can and I will finalize my virtual office hours uh, my UMB email address should be up soon that is out of my control unfortunately and I'll of course be active on the discussion board responding to any questions you have about this week's work so have fun uh, I really do hope again you play around with Kami a bit and see what you can do on it it translates well across devices too if you're working on a tablet for instance so that's that and good luck this week